A wailing siren caught the ears of students at the University of St. Thomas. It signaled the start of the second annual Campus Fire Safety Expo, sponsored by the St. Paul Fire Department and the Michael Larson Memorial Fund. Larson was a St. Thomas sophomore who died in 2010 from a house fire caused by careless smoking. The aim of the expo is to prevent such tragedies. Through informative exhibits, hands-on displays, and dramatic live fire demonstrations, students learn how to be fire safe in dorms and in off-campus housing. St. Paul Fire Marshal Steve Zackard stressed what to look for when choosing a living space and sprinklers are a top priority. It's important to students take care of themselves. They're out on their own. When students and parents look for housing, they should give preference to sprinkled housing, housing that has a fire alarm system. Make sure there's two ways out of every room used for sleeping. It also has to have carbon monoxide detectors too. These students live on campus and off campus in the neighborhood. And nationally, 85% of student fatalities happen in off campus fires, not on campus fires. Most of the campus housing in St. Paul is sprinkled, but off campus there's a wide variety and very little if any of it sprinkled. To show just how effective sprinklers are, two nearly identical mock dorm rooms were set ablaze, side by side, one with a sprinkler and one without. The difference was dramatic. A smoldering cigarette ignites the upholstery on an armchair. Within seconds, the smoke detector goes off. It's vital to have a working smoke detector in every sleeping space. Smoke inhalation can kill even before a fire gets out of control. The room on the left has an automatic sprinkler in the ceiling, designed to activate at 155 degrees. After about one minute, the sprinkler head bursts open from the heat and douses the fire. In the room on the right, with no sprinkler, the temperature climbs quickly and burning plastics from the contents of the room fill the space with toxic smoke. At two minutes, the ceiling temperature has reached 300 degrees. Near four minutes, about the time it takes the fire department to respond to a call, flashover occurs as all materials and gases reach their ignition point and the room is quickly engulfed in flames. New furnishings are much more flammable than old stuff used to be. And you only have three or four minutes before you can't get out of the room before flashover occurs, and nobody can si survive a flashover. So in three, three or four minutes, you have most to wake up in the middle of the night and get out of the house. Side by side, we lit an identical fire in a room that is sprinkled. And in just a few seconds, the sprinkler head went off put the fire out. You go from $100 damage to tens of thousands of dollars damage, maybe hundreds of thousands of dollars damage. Residential fire sprinkler is the best fire protection you can have and we showed that here today. Visit the St. Paul Fire Department online. You can get many more fire safety tips, find out how to get a free smoke detector, and watch other videos that will teach you how to stay safe. All at stpaul.gov fire.